Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, um, I want to share with you my experience with a Linux distro that might just change the game for me. I tried Catchy OS and, uh, well, it might be my new main distro. So grab your coffee, take a breath and let's dive right in. So I first came across Catchy OS when I saw it climbing up the charts on DistroWatch. I mean, um, it's an Arch-based distro with optimized performance settings, especially for gaming, which really caught my attention. At first glance, it might look similar to other Arch-based systems like Endeavor OS or even gaming-focused ones like Garuda Linux. But what really sets Casio OS apart? Let's break it down. Casio OS isn't just about looking cool. It packs some serious technical firepower. The distro uses a bunch of optimized packages tailored for 64-bit, 32-bit, and even Zen for instruction sets. And... Um, they even include a unique BORE kernel scheduler. Now, I won't lie, the fine details might be a bit over my head, but I could totally appreciate that it squeezes every drop of performance out of your hardware. Now, let's talk installation. The Cache OS installer is, hands down, one of the easiest yet most option-packed installers I've seen in a while. Right off the bat, you can select your bootloader, system boot, grub, or even refined, which reminded me a bit of the macOS boot menu. And then you get to pick your file system. BTRFS is the default, but you can choose EXT4, XFS, ZFS, or even F2FS if you're um, installing on something like a USB drive. And it doesn't stop there. The installer offers a staggering number of desktop environments, whether you're into KDE Plasma, GNOME, or something a little different like Cosmic or BSPDFM, there's an option for you. It's like a buffet of choices for desktop lovers. All right, now on to what many of you are really curious about, gaming. Cacios really shines here. With the Cacios Hello app launching on Startup, you can install all your favorite gaming packages with a single click. Steam, Lutris, Heroic Games Launcher, they're all ready to go. On my laptop, I even ran games like Warframe and Counter-Strike 2 with no issues. Even older games, sure, they might need a little tweaking, but um, with tools like Lutris and Heroic, you can usually figure out which option works best. But Cache OS isn't just for gaming. For daily use, it's pretty slick. The default KDE Plasma setup comes with a nice breeze-dark theme and plenty of fun wallpapers. Plus, it even has its own browser, the Catchy browser, which is based on Firefox, but with a mix of privacy features from LibreWolf and patches from Gentoo. And um, if you're new to Linux, managing packages can feel intimidating, but the Catchy OS Hello app makes it super simple to update your system and install new software graphically. It's a neat blend of power and user-friendliness. So, am I here for good? Well, setting aside all those cool performance tweaks like the BOR scheduler and Zen 4 optimizations, there's just so much to love about Cache OS. It's an easy to use Arch distro that offers more desktop options, a plethora of boot and file system choices, and a seamless gaming setup. Honestly, after a few installs and some serious gaming sessions, it just started feeling like home. I mean, I've been an Arch user on and off for years, and uh, CACOS has given me a change of pace. Even though I've never been a huge KDE fan, the quality of the experience and the ease of getting up and running made a big impression on me. So if you're curious about trying out a new Linux experience that's powerful yet user-friendly, I highly recommend giving CACOS a try. Let me know in the comments if you've tried it or if you're thinking about switching. And hey, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe and ring the bell. For more tech reviews and distro adventures, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Uh, bye for now.